Now you know that everything on the plate has to be cooked through. Yes. Well, good luck. Make sure it's all cooked. Usually I love working under pressure, but this kind of pressure was a bit too much. I didn't know what to do. I thought popcorn in my head, I was just going, bah, 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 bah. So I decided, okay, well, what do I know? Then I saw the corn pasta, and I thought, that's it, I'm gonna do that. I see husks, I think of tamales. I saw chorizo, so I'm making a Cornish chorizo soup. And then I thought that was, wasn't enough, so I saw some yellowtail fish, and I'm making a yellowtail fish ceviche with corn. I'm thinking I'm a bloody idiot for taking so, much, so many things on, eh? <laughs> Come on. Hi. What have you got on the go, dude? I'm making uh, tamales. Have you made tamales before? No. Okay. And what's Quite your, what's your filling going to be apart from the masarina? But basically beef. So you're going to roll it in the corn house? Roll it in. And how are you going to cook it? Uh, steam it. How long do you think it's going to take? Uh, I think about 10 minutes at the most. He looks quite surprised. It doesn't look like 10 minutes is enough. Actually, I'm done with my dish. I'm just doing my salad now. I'm worried about my sauce. Maybe I added a bit too much chili, but I love chili. I'm improvising today. I'm using a wine bottle to roll out dim sum dough. I'm making two kinds of dim sum. I'm making a vegetarian dim sum and langoustine dim sum. They're pot stickers, so I literally fry them for a few minutes and then steam them. I just hope the judges love it. You scraped in with the third last apron. 33 is my magic number. Is this dish going to take you to, to the following round? I hope so. You've got 15 minutes I left. Keep at it. You have 15 minutes remaining of this challenge. Are you going to finish? It's very, very nerve-wracking for me. Waiting for that to finish frying and then quickly fry my burgers and then plates. The plan for my dish was tortillas and to make nachos out of them. Since it was my first time making tortilla chips, I wasn't too confident about it. Are these the nachos that are on the plate there? Yeah, I've made them. I took the tortilla wraps and I've cut them into a triangle, throw them up in the oven. Now you know that everything on the plate has to be cooked through. Yes. Well, good luck. Make sure it's all cooked. Usually I love working under pressure, but this kind of pressure was a bit too much. There are some great dishes here, some really creative ones. Herman at the back is doing a very interesting trio of Mexican stuff, yeah. and he's making the tamales. He says 10 minutes to steam them and they're done. I hope so. Personally, I think 10 minutes might be not long enough. Yeah. It could end up costing him his apron. One thing that I've noticed is everybody's making fritters. It's also a matter of what they do with the fritters, whether or not that corn fritter is just another corn fritter or is the one that takes it to the next level. Under five minutes left. You better start plating up. You need to be putting that food on that plate, finish off. If you're still cooking, then you're not going to get done. I need to remind you that 10 of you will be handed in your aprons after this. Go! Go! The judges are sort of counting us down, and it's sheer panic. Is there anything else I need to do? Is there anything else I need to do? This has got to be perfect. Keep the MasterChef dream alive in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop cooking! Well done! That was awesome! I actually pulled this off. It's a bit simple, but it's tasteful. I just want to keep on doing it. I don't want to go out now. The moment of truth. 25 of you will be hanging on to those aprons. Let's hope it's you. Let's get tasting. I'm looking forward to the judges tasting my food because I think that it's creative. It is a mealy frit burger. What I've done is I've cooked the mealy pup and then I deep fried it. Let's have a taste, shall we? I think this is a little bit on the raw side. I'm liking the idea of making a burger, but there's very little seasoning in the polenta and there's virtually no seasoning in the burger. I'm a 
little embarrassed that I didn't cook my burger through. It was such a silly mistake. Joni. Hi, Chef. I did corn crickets, then I did a corn bellini stack, and then some cinnamon popcorn. Cinnamon popcorn. It's not great, but it's not bad. This is not the popcorn that doesn't work, it's the, the cinnamon that doesn't make sense. Thank you. Robbie. I hope they're impressed with the way that I dress to see that it is professional. I've been watching you cook this, and I've been trying to think of a nice way to say this, and the words fail me, but it looks like vomit. I hope it doesn't taste as bad. I can't, sorry, dude. I just... But Pete said it was quite hard, but... No one wants to eat something that looks like that, so I think I messed up. I could have done something a little bit better. Taron, Chef. I'm not too sure what the judges are going to say to my dish. I hope they like it. Chicken and fresh corn soup and some masa dumplings. Good textures, good flavour. You've hit it spot on. Spot on. I've got one shot today to do this. I made a uh, sweet corn and polenta fritter and a pepper and pepper relish. Polenta in the fritter? Yes. Did you pre-cook it? No, I didn't. Ooh. Cook it long enough? I'm hoping so. See how dense that is? And I think it's a pity as well, Chantal, because the other elements work so well with it, but it doesn't take away that polenta is just too stodgy. Yeah. Amanda. I pop some popcorn and then I infuse some cream, then I poach the mussels in that. Gershwin. It's way, way overcooked and as a result, dried up. Emilio. Sweet corn soup with parma ham. You've got great ingredients in there, but they're not coming through. It's just bland. Sonette, let me guess. More corn fritters. Boot camp brunch. Boot camp brunch, I like it. It's a it's a crazy, wild, colourful plate, much like yourself. It's a great plate of food. So this is essentially a sweet corn fritter. It's got creme fresh, a bit of chilli and a bit of coriander in it. It's on a shard of prosciutto. A lot of fritters. By far the most appetising, fluffiest uh, fritter that I've tasted so far. Well done. Yeah. Thank you. Hopefully the taste will be better than my presentation. Presentation does help with the taste, but it's all about the flavour. The tortilla crispy, the topping. I think you got it right with the flavour. Thank you, sir. Hadaban, this is the dish I've been intrigued about tasting, but you've never made tamales before. And how long did you cook it for? Uh, steamed it for about 15 minutes. OK, let's hope it delivers. The fact that you've tried to do something for the first time here shows you you have a pair of coyones of your own by far the best of the day. Lovely stuff, dude. Nice one.